Hey guys, Gaza TV here with another Path of Exile video. We're hyping things up for 3.19 Lake of Calandro, and uh, I just watched the video from Captain Lance talking about Lake of Calandro new mechanic theory. Good video, Lance, by the way, if you're watching this. I do wanted to tackle a few questions in this and a couple of discussions that is surrounding the lead mechanic, and I'm pretty sure that Captain Lance is on a pretty good spree when it comes to the theory of this mechanic. So we, there's a few things that we need to understand before moving into this. And that is the fact that they are not introducing the recombinators from 3.18 Sentinel as a core game mechanic into the 3.19 or the core game, rather. So those modifiers, they created, basically you shove two items into a mechanic or the recoms, and then they would combine itself into one item uh, that then would get uh, these modifiers. And there was a small chance that they would get a recombinator modifier, such as most commonly seen on rings, giving plus one to maximum endurance, frenzy, or power charges. Um, now, what Captain Lance is talking about is the idea that uniques are going down in value as more crafting methods are being introduced and more, uh, more ways of increasing the power of rare items. The idea here is going in line with what Chris Wilson has been talking about in the last seven plus years, and that is the idea that rare items that are crafted and put a lot of effort and time and currency in is actually supposed to be better than unique items philosophically. That's why we have things like Mirror of Calandra allowing us to mirror these items, because they're supposed to be the big chase endgame items, where there will be builds that utilize uniques for the specific mechanics that is suggested and promoted by the uniques, such as Chevron's wrappings for low life, um, the ivory chest as well, uh, and then there's things like Mace Blood, the Headhunter with very unique mechanics surrounding them, and most other uniques are pretty trash and they've gone down in value as rares become better and better, absolutely, but this goes in line with the philosophical approach that Chris Wilson and GGG has towards the game. Now, I believe that Captain Lance is onto something when it comes to the theorizing, uh, the theory crafting of the low well, theory discussion of the league mechanic that we're about to receive and i'd like to adjust and fine tune a little bit what he was talking about to what i believe with some actual compelling arguments behind it the main argument is because i say so you guys should trust me well maybe not all right so here's some here's some actual arguments that you guys can actually take um so basically since the philosophical approach from Chris Wilson is that rare items is supposed to be better than unique items, it is more likely, if we paint up a picture where the league mechanic is that we are going to be able to combinate or whatever two items into one, where one item has to be unique and the other one a rare, hear me out now, the idea would be that first I thought, well, maybe you could actually add a rare modifier into unique items, similar to last epoch's crafting methods of having legendary items, which is a really cool mechanic. And before I continue this little, this little, this little um, tangent here on, on this crafting, I do want to go on another tangent. And that is that GGG is releasing uh, new content every three, sometimes four months, uh, with a lot of new content, with a lot of new mechanics, and sometimes new skills, balance reworks, yada, yada, yada. It's a very, very high pressure time frame. So this allows them, or this forces them into a category, which I think most companies do either way, and that is to take inspiration from other games. So this could very likely be a, a scenario where they're taking inspiration from last epoch's crafting methods and we know crafting has been a big problem and a big discussion in the community and we also know a lot of people are complaining about the lack of power from uniques so my idea to go back to the crafting method or the league mechanic that i think we're actually going to get is that you will have something similar to the recoms which is one of the main reasons why recombinators are not going core and that is basically to shove a unique item and a rare item into a mixer and out comes a item or an item. And either it could be and or, but I don't think that we're going to be having a rare modifier being put onto a unique item. I think it's going to be the opposite. I think we're going to be able to create a unique item into a rare item by taking one or more modifiers from the unique item to be applied onto the rare item that spits out and that item would be mirrored since the recoms had a modifier where they would allow you to get recombinator mods this could also be a situation where you'd get a, a lake of kalanda whatever mechanic you want to call it a modifier such as this item can be anointed even if it's not an amulet similar to the blight boots for example where you can anoint the boots 
that could be a modifier but that would require you to have oils that allows you to to do the mirrored items so this also prevents people from mirroring and copying these big super end items which will actually encourage more people to do the crafts with uniques into rares either people will buy finished ones but it also means that it will be catering a little bit more to the casual players because the big dick items can't be mirrored and more people will sell these things people that uh found find the unique use to create such an item would then be worth more so there's there's a lot of aspects to this that would be beneficial for both the high-end players as well as the casual players but most importantly i think that could be a really cool way to increase the value of unique items in general if you're able to recombinate them, so to say, because that's the mechanic we're known to, known, uh, known, uh, well, exposed to and more familiar with. But the idea to combinate these items to create a rare modifier to a unique or vice versa, a unique modifier into a rare, such as the Chevron's wrappings modifier with um, with the low life modifier, we're not taking damage, uh, chaos damage on uh, life pool. Chaos damage taken does not bypass energy shield. Uh, as an example of this, by moving this modifier potentially, over to a well 700 energy shield uh, vol regalia for example that'd be freaking crazy tom's heart fire damage or life brass domes modifiers all of these things they would be really cool or vice versa maybe add energy shield modifiers or something like that to the chevron's wrappings so i'm not sure how it's going to be um or if it's going to add it like as an implicit modifier maybe i'm not sure because the thing is when you're looking at unique items in game as you can see here it says unique modifier it doesn't specify if that is a prefix or a suffix modifier so i'm not sure what the settings would be but i'm pretty confident in saying that i firmly believe that we will get a mechanic in the lines of what i'm talking about and that would be really cool for the sake of crafting. I think some crazy things can be made. It's going to be fun to see. And since the items allegedly, based on what we see them introducing a oil for mirrored items, would only make sense if you're able to get a modifier allowing you to oil items that are not just amulets. Because finding a mirrored amulet and oiling that just makes no sense. And they're putting that effort and putting in a new oil like that doesn't make sense unless you're able to use that on other items. And we know that you can't mirror rare unique items already, so it makes more sense that the created item from this mechanic would get the mirror tag and be a rare item that has gotten a modifier from a unique item. That's why I'm on the this type of track right now with what I think is going to happen with the mirror of or the Lake of Calandra mechanic. I think Captain Lance was pretty much on point with a lot of things that he said in this video. Uh, I just wanted to elaborate further from my take on it. I, I like the video, Lance. Thanks again for the video. And I think that's what's, what we're going to see in 3.19. Uh, and I'm actually just talking about this gets me super excited. But if you guys have any other ideas or if you think this is good or bad, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. So till then, stay safe. Keep rocking.